So it exploded on impact, right? Fantastic. Worked way better than match the bullseye, like spot on, bang in the middle. That's not a great sound, is it? It'll do for now. So yesterday I said I wanted a better plan. That's where we started. Let's say we're here by 10 p.m. I don't know, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How about that? Hydration test for today. 11.5 for today, trash. And it's 10.30, so I've got a drink to here. Nice. I'm in here looking for some cock. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's definitely not the way you pronounce it, but it's like the easiest way I can pronounce it from English to American. All right, today's video, day two of gallon of water. And what are you getting from Home Depot, Oliver? Actually, I'm not getting anything. Well, I might be getting one thing. I do need a bucket. That's one of two reasons why I came here. Put the gallon in the bucket. Excuse me. Can you tell me where I can find cock or cock? Four, lovely, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Number four, okay. I'm the opposite end of Home Depot. So over the weekend, I put a bat cone on the house because we've got bats in the roof. Surprisingly, Oliver, wow. And I actually bought all the stuff the other day for it. So it's all fixed and done, but I wanted to weave that into today's video because of the intro I want to make for it. Four, five, six, down, cha. Here we go. Just the cock I wanted. But the thing is, hold on a second. Five dollars a bucket. In my normal ADH style, I forgot exactly where I was. But I fixed, I fixed the roof. I put the back cone on the other day and I wanted to integrate it into the video. And Menards don't, which is where I bought the cork originally, because it's closest to our house. They don't really promote on social media, whereas the Home Depot push pretty hard. And I mentioned the other day that I want to stop pushing to fit brands into my videos even when they're not sponsored so that brands can start seeing how their brand fits in. Fits in the car. Oh. If I'm honest, I had this video already like scripted out. I need to go and do the things and I thought, how can I fit something into it? And because I'm going on the roof for the bat stuff, it just made sense to do it Home Depot style and then the bucket came in as an idea. Also, because I don't have another bat cone and it took like six hours to make. Also, the intro to the video is gonna be me throwing a gallon off the roof. I think that's a pretty good intro to the video. These are gonna come in too. These are like where the video, it feels like it's not gonna happen. These come in. Yes, I have changed my outfit slightly. Uh, wrong drawer. Perfect. Excuse me, door. Yes. Now, my initial plan, well, this jacket, because it's bright and orange, plays a big part. My initial plan was to spray paint, oh, I missed the bloody sleeve hole. A big X over here. So we're at ground level and I'm gonna be launching What's it called? A gallon of water from the top up here. And I want it to land on this target right here, which I'll need to tape down. Now I know, tape's probably not gonna stick very well to concrete, but I only need it to stick enough that it won't fly away in the wind. I thought about just spraying the concrete, but then I looked up and you need a, you would need a high pressure pressure washer like 2000 PSI plus. I don't really know what that means. And mine is 1800. So I thought a cool initial shot is just to spray paint a big X on here. And then I guess you'll see it as we progress. And I want this camera. I'm hoping this is wide enough. Yes, it is. I'm just gonna have to make sure I film in a setting that actually captures it this time. I'll do 4K 120. Maybe come back a bit. I feel like that should be good. Okay, so you are set to go at the right time. Let's go on the roof. See, this is a shot that might trigger some people, which is kind of what we want, because if you're triggered by a video you see online, 
that's on you. So Home Depot bucket is going to be in the shot. Prop this up against the car. I'm going to do it gently. Oh dear, not very gently. I got package coming in. Doing, well, thank you, sir. How are you doing? Hanging in there, you know. <laughs> Good stuff. Thank you. Now I have three shots to get as I mount the roof. From the drone climbing up the roof so it's following me, walking across the roof, a drone while working with the drill, and then a shot of me standing over the bucket. And then I've got the camera on down at the front. Hopefully I can connect to it via Wi-Fi so I don't have to come down back up again. Start recording and then throw the bottle off and hopefully hit the mark. This is actually wrong. Who put this up the wrong way? Much better. Dude, that worked out way better than I expected. So much better. <laughs> but uh, the Action 2 is still recording at 4K 120 FPS downstairs. I can't wait to see this footage. Okay, bro, we've had, bro, why am I saying that again? We've had an absolute nightmare, okay? This is the bottle. So it exploded on impact, right? Fantastic, worked way better than, imagine, than I can imagine, and I hit the bullseye, like spot on, bang in the middle. Let's uh, have a look at the video, shall we, Oliver? So, one minute 24, one minute 32. Okay, it's about to happen, isn't it? Okay, you're putting the drone up, nice. Wait, why is everything stopped? <laughs> <coughs> I came back down to the camera overheated, like literally right before I threw it. So I had to go up and do it again, which I haven't seen this footage yet, so I missed it, but I'm hoping this looks quite cool. Oh, kind of annoying how it goes dark. Okay, what am I doing? Because I haven't watched this yet in slow-mo. I guess I could just show you the actual clip and then you can watch it at the same time that I am. Seeking the audio, so drop in now. Oh. Guess I can deal with the bangs. It's all right. It's just annoying where it goes behind. I'll have to point it out in the video, won't I? or like somehow find a way to brighten it up. That's annoying, but it, it looks cool. I'll see, I'll have Shay watch it, see what they say. Um, I, in the story now, I've, I'm at this point where I had four hours worth of water left to drink in just two hours of time. So I got a clip at what would have been 5 p.m. It's now 10 past six. Okay, we're going on a side note for a second. I'm gonna have a snack for this. On Tuesday nights, I get a break or like me time. I can do whatever I want. I just choose to do this. And then on Thursdays, Shay gets that time. Like an extra hour and a half time. But I shouldn't really be working on this. I'm just interested in it. Yeah, so at this point in the story, I'm like, I, I don't know if I'm gonna finish it and I'm salty about not finishing it. Like, that's it. And I make a salt and vinegar sandwich. So Rich or Richard, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. This next bit, for, next bit is for you. My donut ass forgot to turn on the mic on my shirt, so you're gonna get everything without audio here. But I wanted to make the salt and vinegar sandwich. So here's the actual process, it's pretty simple. Juicy layer of peanut butter here. Stick it in the microwave, 10 seconds I'm thinking. Lick the knife, because that's naughty. Fat load of salt and vinegar Pringles, smash it down, get that right in your gob. And then for, like, I wanted to show the cleanup process because I feel like no one ever shows that in videos. And 
I don't know if I'm doing it for myself to show that I do clean up after myself or that I'm saying it is important for people to do so. Look, here it is. That's the second one. Absolutely destroyed. I'm not sure which one is more of a gnarlier. I think that one. I don't know, but destroyed. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.